Section 16 of Birds, Volume 2, Number 1, July 1897. Recorded for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. The American Scoter. The specimen we give of the American Scoter is one of unusual rarity and beauty of plumage. It was seen off the government pier in Chicago in November 1895 and has been much admired. The scoter has as many names as characteristics, being called the sea coot, the butterbilled, the hollow billed coot. The plumage of the full grown male is entirely black, while the female is a sooty brown, becoming paler below. She is also somewhat smaller. The duck is sometimes found in great numbers along the entire Atlantic coast, where it feeds on small shellfish which it secures by diving. A few nest in Labrador, and in winter it is found in New Jersey, on the Great Lakes, and in California. The neighborhoods of marshes and ponds are its haunts, and in the Hudson Bay region the scoter nests in June and July. The nest is built on the ground near water. Coarse grass, feathers, and down are commonly used to make it comfortable, while it is well secreted in hollows in steep banks and cliffs. The eggs are from six to ten of a dull buff color. Professor Cook states that on May 2, 1883, 50 of these ducks were seen at Anna, Union County, Illinois, all busily engaged in picking up millet seed that had just been sown. If no mistake of identification was made in this case, the observation apparently reveals a new fact in the habits of the species, which has been supposed to feed exclusively in the water and to subsist generally on fishes and other aquatic animal food. End of section 16